So in the heat of the summer, these visors really can make a difference. And the Webb telescope uses the same principle to block the heat of the sun and even what bounces off the earth and the moon. And just like my car's visor, the telescope's sunshield unfolds, but its five layers are a little bit thinner. This thin material is called Kapton, and it makes the sunshield of NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. So what is the strange Kapton? It's a combination of carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and hydrogen, but its primary element is carbon. It is only one one-thousandth of an inch thick. That's a quarter of the thickness of the thinnest hair you can find. The five layers of this reflective material will keep Webb cool. It'll block the light of the Earth and Moon and our very bright sun. Each layer is the size of a tennis court. The sunshield happens to be one of the most complicated parts of this telescope. And that's because it has to be packed perfectly like a parachute to fit into the rocket, and then it has to unfold in space. Let's get a better idea of how good this Kapton is at reflecting heat. I asked our resident expert in all things MINI to make me a three-layered model of the sunshield using the same Kapton that's on web. And then we put this tiny light bulb to mimic the heat source that would be the sun, earth, or moon. See, you can see the heat reflecting off the bottom layer. And then the Kapton worked so well that none of the heat is detected at the top of the model. The sun shield is capable of dissipating 500 degrees Fahrenheit over the five layers, and that heat radiates out from each of the layers. That's why each layer gets a little smaller from the bottom to the top. NASA actually uses Kapton for most of its missions. It not only shields or contains heat, it also because it is electrically conductive. All that shifting Kapton of the unfolding sunshield, it could create static electricity. But that charge won't build up on the Kapton and jump to the observatory's super sensitive electronics. And then Kapton stability over a wide range of temperatures is why it's also a great choice. This modified version, called Mylar, might even help you if you get cold.